Hi everyone, it's Donna with Inverti.com. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's surviving in this uh, crazy, crazy storm that um, we've been having across everywhere. It's crazy, crazy. So we usually get like a, a lot of snow. We've got like nothing. And then the people that don't get snow have got everything. It's insane. Hey, Marilyn, Debbie, Ashley. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Our, oh, there we are. Okay. So uh, I don't know if you saw my post. Hey, Marie. Hi, Nancy, Kathy, Debbie. You're frozen. <laughs> my eyes are bugging out of me again. So I may have to like squint or something because right now everything is fuzzy. But that's okay. That's okay. So I did make a post. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when it was yesterday, day before. I don't recall. And, um, we did not get 12 inches. There's no way we got 12 inches yesterday. <laughs> Unless you got 12 inches and I got nothing. Because if we got 12 inches, we would have needed to pull out the snowblower. That was not the case. And it only took Wesley like, I don't even know, 15 minutes or less to shovel the driveway. It was not very much. I guess all I'm saying is I like the snow. Um, okay, so because of the crazy, crazy weather, if you are without power and you got 12 inches at your house, that's not fair. That's not fair. My daughter lives on the opposite end of town. And she said she got like six or seven. I think I got two. If I'm lucky. I live in between the two of you. And I legit. If I'm lucky. Maybe three. Anyway. No, you don't. You live up in the hills. Why did um north of you got that much snow? Oh no. You I can have all your snow. Okay, good. <laughs> My son usually blames me. He's like, especially if it's snowing, he's like, you did this, didn't you? And I'm like, I like think I did. <laughs> okay. So if you are without power and can't do your daily posts. Um, obviously, <laughs> there's like two parts to this. One, you obviously have to make sure you stitch your, your 30 minutes for that day. Now, how you're gonna stitch 30 minutes, you're gonna have to do it during the daylight, because if you don't have a light, if you don't have electricity, you don't have a light, but <laughs> you still have to stitch. So stitch your 30 minutes. And then if you don't have electricity or if you don't have Wi-Fi, because I've heard there's like two different things happening. Sometimes you'll get electricity, but you won't get Wi-Fi or you won't get any kind of internet service at all. Um, so once you have electricity back or once you have Wi-Fi back, once you have internet back, post it and then say, I was without, you know, this is day whatever. I was without electricity. Um, I don't want this snowstorm to not let you guys participate and finish the challenge. So I want you to still be able to participate. And you know, it's not really something we can control, but um, so anyway, it's kind of like a on your honor system, you know, if you don't have power and can't post that day, then you can't post that day. And so just, Post it when you get, when you're able to, uh, when you get power or whatever, post it and be like, this is for, what's today? The 18th. 
so you know this was the 17th or 15th or whatever day it was i didn't have power da 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 let's see um oh yes i did post your your finishes they were very very cute um yeah get out your 10 or 7 count clostern yeah totally get out your really big count projects yes 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 um <laughs> i saw that post oh good i was happy for those affected to still be able to participate yeah i mean you can't control you know this act of god <laughs> you know so we got to still be able to still got to be able to do the good things you know got to be able to do the good things i know poor people in texas that are just not built for this or like you know any other of the southern you know like alabama or georgia or stuff they're just they're not built for this they don't know what to do it's you know even new mexico my sister lives in new mexico and she's had two snow days and she'll marco me and she'll be like look and i'll be like oh that's a good you know inch and a half snow she's like yeah i have a snow day today i can't go to work <laughs> like <laughs> dang that's kind of funny let's see you got your second shot of covid yesterday oh you have a fever of 102 in your pet or 101 in your powering drew dang dang wait where did it go um powering to this someone can have Oh, you guys are gonna share for it. You're you're gonna share your missed days. You can donate them. I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, that's a cool idea. I mean, how'd you think about that? <laughs> you can always switch by candlelight or flashlight. I tried once to do by candlelight because obviously we didn't have power, and I was like, it won't be that hard. <laughs> it was hard and this was when i had good eyesight too uh you're seven miles from the texas state line and it's horrible oh my gosh you guys i am so sorry i feel so bad you have no school today due to the snow and a two-hour delay tomorrow wow we haven't been to school a week in ohio really oh my gosh Oh my gosh. I think they only cancel school here in Utah. I don't know. Two feet, maybe. It depends on how fast that accumulates. Like two feet overnight, they'd probably cancel it. Two feet in two days, they wouldn't cancel it. Okay, so I <laughs> I did stuff this week second day no water oh no are you having to like boil snow for water wait if you don't have electricity how are you boiling snow oh i've been telling my husband like all winter i'm like we need to get a generator i just don't feel we were out of power i don't know when were we out of power i don't recall when we were out of power so obviously we didn't have electricity I was like, we need to get a generator. And we've been talking about getting this generator for like nine months, but we don't have a truck. So we knew my daughter's truck, but I think we really need to get a generator. Yeah, only when the buses can't get around. And if the plows work, then you're going to school. I heard on the radio that 73% of Utah or US has snow. 73% of the US has snow. So that means like only Southern California and maybe Florida doesn't. <laughs> That's crazy. Some places can't get gas for generators. Oh, really? Oh, battery powered heat lamps better in a dark room than in daylight. Yeah, daylight. I can't stitch in daylight. I mean, obviously, if I'm in my room with the lights on and stuff, I can. But, like, to go outside and stitch in daylight, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Having said that, I'm in Florida. 
I stitch that way when a storm shuts down the electricity. So a battery powered headlamp works better than daylight. Okay, we all just remember that. The rest of us have rain, 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 rain. Oh, <laughs> I moved from Southern California to Buffalo <laughs> so I wouldn't see snow again. <laughs> you moved to Southern California from Buffalo. It was 81 degrees in Florida today. Oh my gosh. You guys can keep your snow. We, I mean, yeah, we've been having snow, I guess. Some people more than me. Um, but it's been super cold. I've noticed that. It's been super, super cold. Yeah, this weather is crazy. This is crazy, crazy. Okay, so I did a thing. I'm very excited about it. So I did my tea staining um, of my Jobalano linen. Oh my gosh, you guys, it turned out so good. Okay. So I don't have the video edited yet because I just did it this week. Um, so once I do have that video edited, obviously I'll post it and stuff. But I'll show you um, the difference of what I did and kind of just go all over it. And you are a big bug. <laughs> Everybody, everybody that's got, you know, seven feet of snow is like 81 degrees. Amanda Jo, really? 81 degrees? I don't know. Sounds nice to me. But then again, I'm complaining about not having snow. It's true. I am complaining about not having snow. Carrie is higher up in elevation than I am, so she would, yeah, technically get more. And even my daughter is higher up in elevation than I am, so she'd get more too. Still. 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 Using the floor stand and loving it. Oh, yay. That makes me so happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay. So I had my big piece of uh, 28 count cashel linen. And then I had a piece that would only do one of my, oh, my people, my uh, King Arthur and Guinevere. Let me find them and pull them up so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I cut the sizes that I needed in both, but then I had some scraps left over. 67 in Central Florida. With mist, foggy rain yesterday, it was nice, 85 today. Oh my gosh. When was the last time it was 85? Here. August, maybe? When was the last time it was higher than 40 here? August, maybe? <laughs> Let's see, what is, see, it's this one, I think. Oh, I don't know where King Arthur is. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. So I want something like that effect. Okay, so I, 67 in Philadelphia is short weather. It's true. 67 is short weather. Yes, yes, yes. September had 80s. It's really funny because I did see a meme, I don't know, today, yesterday, that said um, people in the north are bitching that they don't have any snow and people in the south are bitching that they have too much snow. I'm like, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. We are finally above zero today in Nebraska. The first part of the week, we were 20s and 30s below with wind chill. Ooh. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty, I mean, I can say that and then we'll get slashed, slammed, but like, it's been a pretty mild winter for Utah, I think. And then everywhere else has been like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. So I took my scrap pieces and I put them in my coffee mixture. So I use coffee 
um, cause I wanted a darker tone. So I got some cookie, uh, bread, uh, cake pans, cake pans. And I crumpled up my fabric, put them in there, dumped my coffee mixture over them, including the grounds. And then I let them soak. I put them in the fridge and I was just going to leave them in there for one day, but I started this last Friday. And so I left them in there all weekend and I didn't pull them out until Tuesday, I think Monday. I don't know what day it was. One of those days. And so this, I wish I had a before picture. I do, but it's part of the video. So once I, once I make the video and make the blog and everything, you'll see the before and after, but like handy dandy right now, I don't. So this is what the linen looks like. So I'm kind of loving the way it looks. It's much, much darker. Um, you can't really, the, the, the tea stain of it or the coffee stain of it is super, super subtle. Um, you can't see it in a picture. I mean, like I can barely see it with my eye. And then this is the Lugana. And again, you can, it does have highs and lows and stuff, which way this way, but, um, you can, I mean, you can kind of see it kind of, but it's really, really subtle, really subtle. And this is just plain old soaking it and kind of scrubbing it with the coffee grounds and letting it soak for two or three days. Okay. This is baking it. So here are my suggestions. Um, I don't think it, I mean, if you wash it, wash it, yeah, it'd probably wash out but I don't think it'll wash out. Um, I don't think it'll rinse out because I've already rinsed this. Like I've soaked this in clean water and it hasn't come out um, because I wanted to make sure it was clean. So yeah, I, I let it soak in clean water. Well, I let it, yeah, I let it, I rinsed it in my sink until the water ran clean. And then I left it in there in a bowl. Actually, I think it was the cake pan that I left it in and just let the water run on it. So, um, now once you're done stitching, would I wash this? Probably not. Um, but I usually don't wash my stitching after I stitch anymore anyway, because I'm using it on a scroll frame, so I don't need to. Um, okay. So here is what, how the process I would recommend for, um, baking it. It took me a little while to figure out. Um, so I took it out of the bowl or the cake pan or whatever I had it in because I had let it soak in the coffee. I poured hot coffee on it, hot coffee on the fabric and the grounds. And I took a toothbrush and I scrubbed the grounds into it and everything. Then I took the fabric out and I left it sopping wet. Like I didn't wring it. I didn't anything. I took it out really, really wet. Hi, welcome. Lisa. I hope that's Lisa. Hi, welcome. So I took it out of the bowl, sopping, sopping wet. I, you know, like when I took it out of the bowl, you know, I went like this. So I made sure when I placed it on my cookie sheet, it was all clumped up. Okay. So I didn't like lay it out smooth or anything. I wanted that crumped up look and it was wet, 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 wet. Now I never set a temperature to my oven, but my temperature preheats to 320 and then it'll just stay at 320 and then you can increase the temperature. So I just left it at 320. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Welcome. So I plop it onto the baking sheets, like a cookie sheet. Um, I leave it all crumpled up, you know, some high peaks, some high peaks, definitely low peaks, all crumpled up like that. Put it in the oven, left it in the oven for 20 minutes. I noticed I got better results when there would be a lot of steam coming out of the oven because again, it was sopping wet when I put it in there. So when I would take it out now, to be fair, I cooked these probably four different times because I wasn't getting the look I wanted. 
it took me probably till the second time when I did it the first time, it wasn't sopping, sopping wet. It was only slightly wet. So the second time that's when I left it sopping, sopping wet. So these were done several times, um, to get the color I wanted. No, not to get the color I wanted to get the texture. I wanted to get the depth and the highs and lows and everything I wanted. That's why I did it so many times and I could not be prouder. So the last time I did it, I left it in the oven um, uh, for the 20 minutes I had set the timer. And then once the timer went off, I just left it. And then it turned off. You know, the, the oven turned off. And then when I went back upstairs, I pulled it out. And then I didn't touch them for all weekend because, again, I did this on Friday. And so I just left them in the bowl. I took them off the cookie sheets and put them in a bowl. I left them all crinkled up and everything. And when you take it out of the oven, they still have coffee grounds all over them. So they're super messy. Um, I just left them for the weekend until Monday or Tuesday, whatever day I went back to it. I love them, you guys. They turned out so good. Oh, so good. Okay, so this is the Jovalon. My linens are the favorite, but it's good that my linens are the favorite because those are the two pieces I'm actually going to be using for this piece. I did the linen because, number one, I had it, and I wanted to show the difference of doing the same technique on linen versus Ada. So let me make sure. Okay. This is the Jovalon. How freaking cool is that? Look how cool that is. Look at that cute little burnt spot. I freaking love this. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I think it turned out so good. So good. So you'll have these little burnt edges. I love it. Okay, so this is the Drogal On. The linens. Oh, they look freaking amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just can't even. Right? They look so good. I mean, like, that looks so good. Oh, so good. You're gonna die when you see the linens here. Um, okay, this is one of them. Look at that. Look how cool that is. I freaking love it. And then this is the other one. This piece is my favorite piece. Okay, so I actually did iron both of these um, because they were super, super wrinkled. Um, but I have wrinkled them up again because I've just thrown them or I've actually folded them. So let me show you this other one. This one is totally my favorite. Look at that. <laughs> Look how cool that is. I just, I love it. It's like perfect. So yes, I did iron these, um, but I will probably iron them again uh, when I go to put them on my scroll frame, but I ironed them and then I folded them up so I could, you know, move them and stuff. But, oh my gosh, I love the way they turned out. Hey, Emmy, welcome. Um, so, like, like I said, I will have, I'll have the video and the, um, the blog and everything, um, hopefully up next week. Um, because it, oh my gosh, they turned out so good. I've never done the oven method before. And with like, I mean that, oh, that's just too cool. That's just too cool to me. I love it. And can you imagine, I don't know, I don't know who I'm going to put on what, but I mean, this is going to be the perfect background for a design like this. Um, so I'm very, very, very pleased 
with how they turned out. I mean, I'm even pleased with how these turned out, you know, and these were just soaked. These were just soaked. And again, I got the toothbrush and I scrubbed in the coffee grounds. And like I said, it's very, very subtle, the difference. So if you want just a, you know, a very subtle difference, you could totally do this with just coffee ground, coffee and coffee grounds. Yeah. I did, I mean, I did so many pieces. I made probably three pots of coffee. So I had a lot of coffee to work with and I had a lot of grounds to work with. Um, so yeah, it was just coffee grounds, coffee, obviously hot. I had three cake pans and I used, I mean, I only had glass, so that's what I used was glass. Um, and then three cookie sheets is all I used and a toothbrush. That's it. That's all I used. Um, I did have a thought though. I wondered because sometimes they, sometimes I thought a really cool effect would be to have like a ring, like a coffee ring from a mug. So I wondered what it would be like if I sat a coffee, a, a mug down on it, you know, dripping coffee around it. I wondered what that would look like, but that thought came later. <laughs> so I haven't actually done that, but I thought that could be, you know, that could be a cool look. Um, so yeah, I think they turned out so amazing. This one again is my favorite because that's just, it's just so cool. So then once I got them at it, so then, okay, so then that's how I did it. So then on Monday, <clears throat> I grabbed them both. I put them in a bucket. I had a plastic little plastic tote thing. I put them both, oh, well, all three of them, in that bucket. I put them in the sink and I just let the water run. Um, it wasn't cold. I think it was just warm water. I don't even know what, I don't know. I don't know what temperature the water was. And then I, I had to rinse a lot because like I said, I left the coffee grounds and everything on it. <clears throat> and there was a lot. So I ran until the coffee was gone. And then I would shake it too to get all the coffee grounds off um, until I couldn't fill it in there anymore. And then again, I let it sit in the water till, you know, it ran clear. And then I took them out. I let them spread out till they were, um, um, they were, well, no, they were air dried because this was three days later. And then I didn't want to pull on my ironing board <laughs> because I'm lazy. So, and I don't have an ironing thing. So I just grabbed a towel, put it on my island, iron them really quick. Um, yeah, this is super, super straight <laughs> compared to what they were. They were a big old ragged mess, um, which is fine because that's what I had done to them. So it was on purpose. And then I ironed them and here we are. So yeah, I'll probably iron them again before I start my stitching. Even if I didn't, once I put them on my scroll frame, it won't make a difference because my tension won't be tight enough that it'll smooth out any wrinkles that there are. So I'm super, super pleased with how they turned out. I'm really pleased. I am also going to do a video because I told you I was going to change her hair to red and his hair to black. Let's see if I can. Oh, yes. Here, right here. I'm going to change his hair to black and I will do a video on how I do that as well. I do have a video on how to color change, but it's, I don't know, four years old. So I thought I'd do another one. So this is King Arthur. Oh, I don't have a bigger picture of him. So King Arthur, he's very handsome. And then Guinevere. Okay, there is one thing I don't like, and it's this dragon here. I don't like that it faces the same way on both of them. She's got a castle on one side and he's got a chalice on the other side. And then they both have the dragon. Obviously his is here, here and hers is on this side. But I don't like that the dragon faces the same way. Um, so I may have to do some flipping on that. 
because that bugs me, which is stupid. It really shouldn't bug me. It's not that big of a deal, but it does. So it's fine. I can let it bug me. Um, if I do switch it, all I'll do is take the pattern, um, rotate the pattern, rotate the pattern on my printer, and then just print it out and stitch it rotated, which I've done before. So, which is really nice. Anyway, that's something stupid that bugs me, but it bugs me. But yeah, tea steaming with your oven works amazing. 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 I love it. Okay. So let's jump over and see what y'all have been working on. How many of you are going to try that now that you've seen it? I mean, or, or would you, would you now try it? Are you more, are you more likely to now try it now than you were before? If you find, you know, the right pattern to do it and everything. Um, you know, my next one should be the ice, the ice dyeing. I should definitely try to do some ice dyeing because that would be cool. I've never done the ice dyeing before. So that would be awesome. You will, you will, you will. Yes! My evil plan is working. Oh, look at the cute little froggy bookmark. Very cute. You can buy tea and coffee. I bet it would. I bet with the tea bag. So when I tea stain my other piece, um, the my other piece, when I tea stained it, it was already stitched. And I didn't like I didn't like the way it looked. And so I tea stained it. I tea stained it with coffee and tea. I also used a toothbrush, but I used the tea bag itself. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's in here or not. I used the tea bag itself to rub wherever, because again, I was tea staining it after I'd already stitched it, so it's not in here. But it's this dragon heart, and I tea stained it after I stitched it because I didn't like the way the cream fabric looked. It was too bright. So I went around the stitching, but I did use the tea bag itself to go through and I would scrub it in places and then I'd smoosh it so the tea came out and everything. So yeah, that worked well. Yeah. Oh, snow staining instead of ice. <laughs> ah, that is, that's brilliant. That's, that's brilliant. <laughs> I'll have to try that. I'll have to get me some fabric that I want to change multiple colors to or something. I don't know. <laughs> that would be, that would be, that would be a, um, a fun, you know, grandbaby project. I mean, we both have to wear gloves because <laughs> we don't want purple hands, but that could be fun. That could be fun. Long dog sampler. I have the hardest time saying that name. Huh. <sighs> I don't know why, but I do. Pandemic. <laughs> Let's see. Where do we think we are? Who was it? Oh, I think this is this. Ooh, that's nice. Who was it that said it was um it was the challenge of stitching, but also the challenge of, um, like, five hidden items or something like that. You know, you have to, oh, find the difference. That's what they called it. Thank you. That's what I always want to say is long dog sampler. Long dog sampler. You know, that's what I always want to say. It's a thing. Oh my gosh, is this that Quaker wi Wizard of Oz one? I love that one. Or is this a Halloween one? I don't know, but 
that's a lot of progress because she didn't even, did she have a witch done in this one? I don't know, but it's very cute. I love the fabric. This week has kicked my butt. This week has, I don't know what is up, but holy crap. This week, you're something heart, but I'll let you keep, oh, you stole my heart, but I'll let you keep it. Oh, very cute. Very cute. Long dog sampler. Cold the Lion, 28 count. Two over two, Mystic Cashel Threadworks. Very cute. It's a Halloween Quaker. Very cute. Ooh, look at that. That's some good, good progress there. I think mean, last time I thought it was like up to here. So that's good. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Bellatrix by Bella Filipina on Fabric Flares Purple Heavens. That is some beautiful fabric right there. I love how the blue is right at the window. That's like perfect placement there. I love you. Aww. Oh, look at the cute little, I don't know, puppy head maybe. What do you think it is? Could be a puppy head. Hey, that's good. Wait, is it is it done? No, more beads. More beads, more beads, more beads, more beads. I love it. Hey, a very new, very new start. Had to undo a good 20 minutes, 20 minutes of work because apparently in a middle crowd. I don't know how many times I've yelled at my husband. You know, I thought I passed, you know, kindergarten and first grade. I thought I knew how to count. Apparently, I don't. Do you know how often you say that? Yeah, a lot. Because I don't know how to count. <coughs> I think we all say that at one point or the, the other, right? Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful <coughs> Mandela-ish project. I have a tickle in my throat. Wait, it's a finish! Yay! That's beautiful! I love it. Come out only two of them. Till I get the tickle out of my throat. Slanted grass stain. Cut the long arm cross trees. Trunks on. Catherine's Thrones A Band Sampler for Spring. Well, that's beautiful. Mmm, nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mmm. Cute, cute. Linen the Threads Mystery Stitch Along 2021. Mmm. So cute. Oh, wow. Daydreaming girl. Hmm. Like, what do we think that is? Like, is she laying down and that's like her bum and her shoulder and part of her hair, maybe? I'm totally making stuff up. I have no idea. It's very cute. Oh, cute. Oh, yay. New to the group. Yay. She's stitching all of the major arcana from the tarot from car one and 30. Oh my gosh. That's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. What a fun, daunting, huge, huge project. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Look at the 12 days of Christmas. You know what? I think it's hysterical. We are on day 18, and I'm still seeing, like, this is the first time I've seen this project. There's so many piles, you can't get through them all. I love it. 
I love it, love it, love it, love it. Mm. Done, front and back of the pink cushion. Done. Yay. So cute. I love the floss. That's beautiful. Who broke their hand? Mary broke her hand. Man. Oh, look at the cute little Santa fisherman. I'd rather be fishing stocking. Oh, there's a reason there's only one picture. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. What is this? Sorrento Ho Hotel by Dimensions. 585 stitches plus 26 French knots. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, how cute. So you're on, you've got the H done, you've got the O done, you're on the M. Oh, right here. On the M. I love it. Is this, um, is this on an F again? Or are you doing this on a banner? Or is it going um, horizontal? What way is it going? Oh my gosh, look at, you got her head done and now you are totally gonna finish her by by the end of the, um, the challenge. You're totally gonna finish her by the end of the challenge. That is brilliant. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh-uh. Mini Bible. I can't read. My eyes are bugging out. Let's try glasses, shall we? Bible dam? Bible dam. Bible I dome. I don't know what it is. By Jackie Yurda, Heaven and Earth Designs. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. You're going horizontal on Anacost, okay. And you're hoping to have it done by the end of the month? You totally will. You totally will. How cute is that? Is that one of those Kringles houses? That is super cute. Oh my gosh. She is stunning. Dark Queen of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Oh my gosh. She is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is this finished, do we think? I want to say that's a finish. I'm going to say it's a finish. That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, progress for one day, you know. That's pretty impressive progress just for one day. Oh my gosh, I love the fat Italians. Oh, I shouldn't say that. They're bathing beauties. <laughs> By Design Works. So cute. So, so cute. Uh, is this a finish? I think this is a finish. I'm gonna say it's a finish. Yay! Oh my gosh, look at the cauld cauldron. Last week, I walked out of my room here, and I walked into um, my living room. And my husband and son look at me, and I go, I just told everybody to have a happy Thanksgiving. And both of them started laughing their butts off. <laughs> so now, cardinals or cauldrons. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Two separate things, but it's okay. Birds of a Feather by Donna Gelsting, Bel Gelsinger. I love it. Without the challenge, there would have been no stitching today. <laughs> Thanks for the motivation. <laughs> I like it. I like it, like it, like it. It's really crazy because I see more posts after we start a challenge of. I have no motivation. 
than I do before we start a challenge. Because before we start a challenge, I could be like, hey, join our challenge. After we start a challenge, and they're like, I have no motivation. I'm like, I can't tell you to join our challenge. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? And that's a lot. From day 17 to day 18, wow, that's a lot. This is going to be an amazing project. Neglected floss stitch along. Oh, that's cute. Magical quilts. Very nice. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's going to be a fun, fun stitch. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is cute. Combo pu camera. I don't know. I can't read. Barrels. That is so cute. I don't know. Some funky trees, some funky grass and hills. I like it. I like it. I haven't been to sleep yet. So <laughs> to me, it's still 2.15. And I have my first finish of 2021. Yay! Oh, that's amazing. That's like the whole world. <laughs> that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it. Oh, started a new one. Little March Trio by Waxing Moon. Very cute. That'll be a fun stitch. Ooh, that's a spooky. That's a spooky stitch, Red Rum. Um, Chopping Mom by Witchy Stitcher. That's cute. I even like her, her scroll rug cover. Or, I don't know, she might be using a key snuff. But look at that. That's cute. Oh, my goodness. Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. The like list of designs that I have to write down because I'm like, yeah, I think I might need that in my life. It's ridiculous. Oh my heavens. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Wait, is this a finish? Right, this piece is going to um, a hospice program out of Kansas City. For the embroidered guilt of America. Oh my gosh. I think it is a finish. So we're going to ring it. That is a beautiful needlepoint piece. I love it. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look how cute that is. Cute little puppy. Cute little puppy. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The Night of the Arctic by Joe Sunday. Wow. I think it's a stamped piece. Obviously, it's a stamped piece. I can't wait to see it finished. Because I'm pretty sure these pinks and light blues are not actually the color of the stitches. <laughs> Eleanor Rigby Blackbird Designs. 1904. Fun. Fun, fun piece. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Stubborn froggy section. <laughs> Stitched by fine. But found my thread knotted at the back twice. So it had to be fixed. I hate that. I hate that. You know what I've done? Figured out the knot. Cut it off and then... Do lolly that thing right under the stitches. It takes away the knot and you don't have to frog. But there are some times where you have to frog. Always, no matter what. It sucks. Summer Catch Etching by Heart and Hand Network. Needlework Network. I can blame my eyes. I can't see. Very cute. Very, very cute. Oh my goodness. Only 10 more days in this challenge. Oh my gosh, really? I was thinking 
if you say, you know, a week and a half, it makes it feel like it's longer than 10 days. So let's stay with a week and a half. Oh, how cute. Cute little stamped cross stitch stuff. Little butterfly. Oh, is that a dragon? It is a dragon. Red dragon. Gecko rogue. All day. Off and on. Um, <laughs> that that that's really pretty. I'm gonna have to look at the design itself. Ooh, what is this? This is completed at that a hundred stitches. Um, this block had two colors. <laughs> Let's see, what's the name of the design? Mini um, Quiet Reflection 2015 um, artwork by uh, Lisa Parker. I love it. What is it? Oh, it's a wolf. Very nice. Very nice. At At by Awesome Pattern Studio. At At. What do you think that is? Like this kind of looks like right here, like it could be like the Statue of Liberty. This right here kind of looks like it could be like a Death Star or something. <laughs> you never know. <gasps> the last row, yay. Starting the last row. So this one is here and this one is here. Very cool. You know, I mean, if you hated backstitching, though, I mean, I, you know, I, I less hate backstitching now because that's how you say it. I less hate backstitching now than I used to. I used to hate it a lot. Now I hate it just a little bit. Don't do black work when you hate backstitching. <laughs> oh, hey, look, you're done with the middle. Yay! <coughs> and now you're on one of the windows. They're not really windows. We're just going to call them windows. <coughs> That's awesome. You can totally tell what the middle says and everything. I love it. Mm. Christmas Eve by Prairie Schooler. Noel, Merry Christmas. And Santa Sleigh. Very cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, she didn't say what this is. It's beautiful. Whatever it is. Oh, look at Santa's butt. And some reindeer legs. How cute are they? Yes, it is. It is red round. Yes, red round is murder spelled backwards. And the twins are from The Shining. I've never seen The Shining, but I do know that. What is this? She doesn't tell us what it is. I don't know. Looks like maybe, I don't know, different houses or something. I don't know. Hey, look, a Prairie Schooler Santa. The 2006 Prairie Schooler Santa. I love it. 10 inches of snow, <laughs> lots and lots of shoveling and snow blowing. Yes. Almost looking like a forest. Very nice. I can't tell. I can't tell, but almost looking like a forest. <gasps> How cute is this? I don't think it's finished. She would say finished, right? Wow. That's very cool. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, that's an amazing piece. That's going to be so amazing when it's done. Holy crap. That's going to be amazing. Nothing but satin stitches, stem stitches, all kinds of embroidery stitches. That'll be beautiful. What is this? The second pillowcase. Oh, I think it's Christmas lights. And maybe, um, what's that flower? 
the red one. Poinsettia. Ah, I remembered it. I remembered it. Oh, very good. Over here in the tree. Very good. Very good. Oh, look how beautiful. Moving Lavender Kaleidoscope by Chantelaine on 28 Count Linen. That you dyed yourself? Oh my gosh. Who is this? Stephanie. That's beautiful. And look at the little kitty. Look at the little kitty. That's stunning. Um, got 30 minutes in. Yay! Yeah. I don't know what it is though. I want to say it's a mirror, but I just I don't know. Uh look at the cute little stocking. Little, little bears. Little Christmas stocking. So cute. Miss Mini Sea Turtle Spirit of Serenity. Very nice. Where did we do it? Oh, right there. Very good. Winter Rose Manor. Oh, I love it. What is this? What do we think that is? I mean, obviously, that's the house. I don't know what that is. That's cool, though. Greetings from the Frat Pat. Greetings from the Park by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Very cute. This one here, right here. Oh, she finished this one and moved on to this one. 309 days until Christmas. Really, Carrie? Really? <sighs> really? Oh, that's cute. I had a frog a row. That's cute. <gasps> oh, Fire and Ice by Custom Crafts. That's beautiful. Oh, I bet you're going to be so done with red by the time you get done. Oh. Lakeland. Oh, we got the whole sun done. The whole sun. We, like I had any help in it. We, we all did it. She got the sun done. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the tractor. It's this one right here, right? Yes. Farmer's Pride by Stony Creek. Ooh, that's coming on good. I think this is her, it's from, I think it's, I want to say from Custom Crafts, and I want to say it's a cougar. I'm going to say that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, she got more of the house done. What is this? Here comes home. No, hearts come home. Told you I can't read tonight. That's my excuse. I can't read. Ooh, another block all done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Okay. Um, let's see. Next week, I'm going to do... What am I going to do? Um, a second video I'm working on is how to use the lap stand. So maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll go over that video of um, how to use it not only as a lap stand, but it as a table stand. Um, then I'm going to start working on, um, how to start, including a slide under, a pin stitch, a loop start, and a waist knot. So I'm going to try that. Um, yeah. So then let's just, um, everybody stay warm, keep stitching and have a fabulous weekend. Have a fabulous week and I will see you all next Thursday. Happy stitching everybody. Bye.